Um, <clears throat> welcome again, uh, everybody. Last class, we, we did slicing and uh, we learned about concatenation of strings, slicing of strings. So today, like I promised in the last lesson, that we're going to be doing um, escaping the characters, you know, characters, I mean, to escape a character. So in Python, we, there's a way we escape characters, there's a way we, uh, we format strings, there's a way we do we do string formatting function and all that. So we, we are going to, going to be delving into that. We are going to be de delving into that. Uh, <clears throat> to escape a character, let me say, an escape character is a character that gets interpreted uh, when a single uh, or double quote, when it, when placed in a single or double quote. This is what I'm saying. Let me type it out. I said um, an escape character, let me write it uppercase, give it a space. An escape character, an escape character, uh, character is a character uh, that gets interpreted, that uh, gets interpreted, interpreted uh, when placed, when placed, uh, let me comment on a new line. Let me, sorry, let me shrink this so that uh, we have. So, when placed, um, an escape character, uh, an escape character is a character that gets interpreted when placed in a single, in single, uh, in a single or double quotes, or double quotes, a single or double uh, quotes. So they are represented using a backslash notation. So this is backslash. Uh, this is backslash. They are represented using a backslash notation. And um, these characters are non-printable by Python. Python will not print it. They will, uh, it will be ignored. So we have um, different kind of um, escape characters. Let's say we have one. We have uh, we have. Uh, backslash a backslash a which means um, a kind of bell or a lot bell or lot we have um, backslash say uh, b we have backslash b which means say uh, backspace which can stand for I'm going to be using this in examples please backspace then we have backslash we have backslash f which means form feed this stands for what form feed it stands for form feed we have uh, let me zoom out a bit to yeah let me zoom out a bit to so that um uh, then we have um, we have backslash n, <clears throat> which is mostly important. Which is most important. This is the most important among um, every other backslash. This one is for new line. That is to come in a new line. We have backslash say what again? We have backslash r, which stands for carriage return. I uh, think carriage return. We have um backslash. Uh, we have backslash. Say space. Yeah, let me not forget that space. It stands for yes space backslash s. Then we have we have backslash t for tab t. We have backslash t. Which is used for what? Uh, for top. So all these things will be used um, in exercise. Let me let me just give an example of how to use them. Say, uh, let me say, um, I want to print something like. Uh, uh, let me start with the backslash n. Say, I want to print something like. Um, say. Hello world, 
we're training today and let me see um, hello world hello world um so let me say i want the it's training today to come in a new line so i'll just say backslash n uh say it is raining today it is uh uh raining today i will tr introduce another backslash it's raining today i will explain this please don't get uh, yourself worked up it is uh it is, is all let me say it's all today it's all what is all today now look at if in a situation whereby okay let me say hello world you know i told you that your string can either be in single quotes or double quotes, which have case may be. It can even be in a tri uh, triple quotes. Now, in this case, I'm using single quotes, and I'm using the um, the it's um, to represent it is. And the Python code is not seeing it as error. Look at this. It's not seeing it as error. Now, why is that? After this, I introduce this backslash n. What this will do is that if I, by the time I print it, it will bring this it to a new line. This it is, it will bring it to a new line. Now, why Python is not seeing this as an error? Because I'm using single quotes. I'm using single quotes to denote the total the, 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 the total string. And I'm using single quotes here. Instead of it is, I'm writing it. I'm using this empty backslash to tell Python that come. This single quote here is not the end of the strings here. That it continues. But ignore it and just write it the way it is. That is what you are type, telling Python. And at the end of the string is here. You understand? For every string, for every code, first code, second code, right? The first one is the beginning of the string. And the end of the code is the what? End of the string. So with this line here, this it is with empty um, slash. Remember I told you something like that? Empty slash is telling Python that this place is not the end of the string. At the end of the string you would extend here but just write it the way it is that it is you understand so with here it shows new lines you understand new lines so by the time i print it to give you um hello world it is what or today remember i told you backslash n is new line so that is what that is doing in practical so let me give another example say uh let me give another example with backspace let me give an example with backspace. Backspace. So let's say uh, I want to print, print, say, uh, single code festival discount. Festival discount. Say, uh, four slash B. Mm, let me give you another four slash b so that to make a lot of meaning b and say four slash b four slash b for every b that i for, for every four slash b that i use it's creating a kind of backspace you know what backspace is now when you clean something backward let me remove this when you clean something backward that's what backspace is when you tend to okay let me say uh let me say here yeah, i tend to say let me go up so I now say, you know, um, this is backspace. This is what backspace is doing, right? So that is that. So when you tend to clean something backward, it is called backspace. So um, let me say, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let me see. First about this count. Let me use another backspace. Um, backspace. Okay, I have how many backspace here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me use another one. Say backspace, another one, say backspace. Now, I now say offer. Um festival 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 discount offer. Let's see what this will give to us. Let's see. Okay, okay, it gave us festival offer on. You understand? So because I, I caught if you look at it, festival over on, this is what it gave us. Let me copy it and proceed. 
प्रिये, प्रिये. This, see, this is what it gave us. Why is that? It cuts, uh, it starts to cut here. Festival, you understand? And it, it cuts from here, ignore, you know, you know, till it gets. So, what we are saying is that it will start counting, counting, okay, this, 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 and of course, we removed all these for the backspace. Then instead of it to replace everything, now replace it with what offer. So backspace to all this and what and left UNT and offer. You no know, concatenated offer with UNT. I hope you understand that. If you don't understand, please still let me know. So we have another backspace uh that we can use, which I have explained. Let's say um say okay, let me let me let me use this that I was explaining. Let me Give an example of what i was talking about so let's say print print uh say uh, isn't isn't uh isn't it let's say isn't it isn't it you understand python recognizes that this is not the end of the string yeah because this double quote yeah is overriding this but if we use single quotes here, say this, and I'm using another single quote here, say this. Sorry, excuse me. So, say this. You know, Python now says, come, there's an error in what you are doing. Yeah. Are you saying here yeah, is the end of the string? Then if it is the end of the string, what is this bracket doing here? You understand? So, that is what the error seen. But... If you put instead of putting single quote, if you put at the, at the end of each of the string, we put um, say single quote um, here, and we put single quote here. I mean double quote here, double quote, double quote. Python I said okay, he knows that he, the end of the string is the end of the uh, where the second um, uh, double quote is. You understand? So if you run it, it will give us isn't it? But the other way of doing it. By using an escaping, uh, by using um, an escape, uh, uh, escaping character is by using, um, say, let's use a single quote. Let's use a single quote, and let's just say, uh, we want to escape the character. So by escaping the character, you can just say like this: it will escape the character. It will give you, it will not give you error. It will give you, isn't it? Just the same way we wanted it to be. Uh, I hope that is clear. And we have another uh, escaping character. So I want you to use this example that I just gave to do um, uh, make an escaping character. You understand? Or uh, this first slash, use it as an example and submit in the uh, in the Python class. You understand? For those of you doing web development, for those of you doing uh, web development that is backend to Python, and for those of you doing Django, should submit in your Django classes or this is how we I will pick it up from there. So just it's an assignment. Just try to do uh, use this uh, backslash form feed or new line. No, no, I've used new line. You can use space. Yes, I want you to use. I've used. Have I used? I've used backspace. Use tab. And space, you understand. That is the example, um, and I will pick it from there. Uh, thank you for that. That um, the next one we'll be talking about. We we've, we've dealt with uh, escape characters. Now let, let's look at string formatting. String formatting. String formatting. It's important that we understand the concept of string um, formatting. So we've dealt with. Right now we've dealt with this. Um, this. So now we are going to deal with what string formatting. So what is string formatting? What what does it mean to format a string? Now let's see what it means. So string formatting is just say uh, uh, it's a similar. Okay, let's say um, 
string formatting is just um, using some special character. Say, um, it's just a way of shortening our code using some special character. Um, we have some symbols like, um, say, percentage C. Let me put it out. Let me give. So let me comment this out. Sorry, excuse me. Let me comment this out. Say we have um, we have something like um, say uh, say peace. Let me put a comment so that don't read error. Says this. So this simply means string. This simply means string. You understand? So actually, we are talking about formatting operator. You understand? It is somewhat it is somewhat used string formatting operator. Uh, the operator is unique to string anyway, and it's similar to formatting um, operations of the uh, print function. So it is often used, or it was it was it was uh, originally used in, or it's been originally used in uh, the printf function of the C programming language. So we can as well, you know, like I always said, or like I told you initially that. Python is implemented in C. So, you know, it took a lot of um, operations, functionalities from C. So, string uh, formatting operator is also a way, um, it's, kind of, it's one of the inheritance, one of the things inherited from C. So, we have the uh, percentage sign S, we have the percentage sign say I, we have the percentage sign I. I, and this is what which is uh formatting uh, it's, it's a sign decimal integer as a signed decimal integer integer we have uh, this we have uh, uh we have um, we also have um, we have we can also be d the same thing signed decimal integer we have we have uh, another one called um just, uh, percentage sign u which stands for uh unsigned decimal integer unsigned decimal decimal integer and uh, we have another one say we have we have o we have o which stands for octal octal integer we have um, we have we have uh, we have the x which stands for uh hexadecimal integer hexadecimal let me let me put it well hexadecimal integer uh, for lower case and the opposite of it is um, upper case when you write uh, when you write this and say percentage upper x hexadecimal integer upper case and there are there, there, there please don't feel like you have to memorize all this you know, it's just simply useful in uh, in trying to manipulate our strings and stuff like that. Uh, I will like. I would have loved to use an example, uh, but um, I will use an example later in our uh, classes. So I don't want. I don't. I just don't want it to to um, delay us, anyways. Because the example I'm going to use, we have um, some applications to integer and we are not yet in integer so i don't want it to interfere with our next class so by our next class by our next topic which is not string which will be integer we'll be using we'll be making use of it and be referring to uh what we what we've learned about it so i prefer to refer to the past than refer to the future no you can't be referring to the future so let's refer to what we've learned you understand Let's try and maybe making references to what we've learned rather than be making references to what we will learn. So it's two different things. 
and I think it makes a lot of sense like that when we make reference to reference to what we plant rather than making reference references to what we are going to uh, learn. So the third one is string formatting function. This is it. Uh, the third one is what string formatting function. So we're gonna be doing this now. String formatting function. Now, by string formatting function, we are talking about some uh, manipulation. You know, it's a kind of you know Python includes a kind of large number of built-in functions to manipulate strings. It's a way of manipulating our strings. For example, let's say we want to check. Uh, we want to check the length of our string. Say, um, it, you know, we, we let's let's start one of the string formatting function is length of string, length of strings. We want to check the length of strings. I'm going to be learning what the length of string is. Now, let's say, uh, say we have we have uh, x equals um, say. Uh, Learning Python is form. Learning, learning um, Python is form. Learning Python is form. I want to check the length of this string. You know, I told you white space. That is, you know, white space in programming means space. White space is even included in counting. When you are counting uh, any data in, in, in programming, say any string. So you understand. So white space is also what? Considered. So to check the length of string, Let's say uh, the, 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 the code used to change the length of screen is what? Length of, say, string. You understand? Length of string, which is what? Length of string. So it means to check the length of string. But in this case, what is our string here? Our string here is what? X. X. This X, which is used as what? Um, literal variable. Look at my pylons is telling me that, okay, well, this thing is storing what? A literal variable is a variable sorry storing a literal uh, uh, string a literal a literal data so you understand data so now we're gonna be finding the length of this string so by finding the length of this string what will you do you put this variable you understand so if I put the whole of this string it it will give me the answer you understand but if I it is professionally let's let's put the word the uh, variable instead because the variable is also is as well storing the the whole string so there's no need putting the whole string so to print this we can say you can either say is it that you say print length length look at um vs code has guessed it for you what you want to do but let's type it to make our hand stronger length of what x is it that you do this it will give you the answer 22 how do we know it's 22 let's count it by ourselves so as for us to be sure python is saying the truth one l two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two take note that i am not exempting the space the space i included in my counting is that you do it this way or to make it further simple by also storing length of x inside another variable say call it you can name the variable length equals length of x remember i told you don't you try to don't you try to store um to 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 use um uh, uh keyword as your identifier identifier means variable is an example of identifier how you identify your data you know and you know when it's very just like identifier just now i'm talking about variable or any other methods or functions she understand what you use to identify your um, data so don't ever try to use keyword eh, as your name as of to name your variable python will get confused give you a lot of problem it is not uh it is not professional so is that you do this store your length of x in a variable called length you understand length say length and after storing it in length i don't have to print length of uh i don't have to print length of length again i'll just print length because this length here 
is storing what length of x so i don't have to print length of length just print the length to simplify it to give you the same answer 22 you can see it here 22 so don't get confused as for that so i think i'm clear about i'm looking for the length function i mean yeah it is called length function length of a string is what length function or length uh, method another one is lower 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 say lower you understand um lower function or method lower method what does lower do lower method what does it do it what it does is it returns a copy of the string in which all uppercase alphabets in a string are converted to what lowercase alphabets see learning this l will return to what lowercase P will return to what lowercase. So what it does is it it uh it returns all um all uppercase to what lowercase. So it returns a copy of the string in which all uppercase alphabet in a string are converted to what lower alphabet. Let's do this in practical. Let's say uh let's print let's print let me comment this out. Let me comment this out. Let me comment this out. So let's print um, the lower uh, case of uh, all these. Let me let me print the let me do a lower method for this. So to do that, you're gonna be saying, let's store it in a in a variable. You can call the variable low equals this. You understand? So um, we can say uh, we can say no. You don't need to put s here. Just put you can say, uh, say, uh, low equals x dot lower. You understand? Low equals what? x dot lower. So this x is this. So I'm now saying this x implement a lower method on this x. This x here that is conveying, that is carrying, or that is storing this data, implement what? A lower method. To this x so if you print low you will see that let's print the variable low you will see that it will turn all these things to lowercase so anywhere you see uppercase like this uppercase in nigeria you know we call it capital letter small letter so that is please don't get confused lowercase eh, is called you know the word the, what we call small letter in nigeria you understand uppercase is what we call capital letter in nigeria so don't get confused as to what i'm using and you understand so this one is lowercase i mean uppercase this one is uppercase they will now be turned to what lowercase because this they are stored in a variable s and i've said um the s should be what uh should be um the, a lower method should be applied on the s and of course i stored everything in not low so i'm printing the low now to print the low this is it you see that it turns learning to lower. Learning Python is what fun. And Python was originally the P was original uh, was originally up, uh, an uppercase was in uppercase, and the L was also what in uppercase. So uh, next one will be um, say upper. How to turn lower to upper? We we'll go to swap case, capitalize, title, I strip. That's L strip, R, R strip, and strip and max. So um, in the next lesson, which is the version 2 of this, we are still in uh, uh, formatting function, string formatting fun function. So uh, this is string formatting function 1. So the string formatting function 2, which is going to come in later today, uh, are we, um, you will find it in your module. So it's going to be available as quickly as possible, in fact, as fast as possible. So get yourself acquainted with this version 1 get a notebook write some details put down some details try it on your own and see if to work on your device um thank you very much for listening and god bless if you have any question of course you have my discord you have my telegram um details you have my handle you have my whatsapp you can just contact me or of course comment section you can just tell me what uh, might be the reason for the confusion and i will do my best to answer thank you very much and god bless